What is up my fellow luxury living friends? I hope you guys are all doing well. I am back again with another video and today's is gonna be a really exciting one. If you guys love fragrance, you guys have to keep watching. Hey guys, are you here? My name is Pacey and I do luxury videos, shopping videos, styling videos, and just a little bit of beauty. So if any of the topics intrigue you, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. You guys are gonna love it here. So I recently discovered Maison Diorian and they're actually an Arabian perfume store. So they have really, really interesting scents that I've never even heard of before. And I placed an order for their Perla Nera Discovery set and this is what I got in the mail so let's go ahead and try them out for the first time there are four different discovery sets on the Perla Nera line the first set is the florals and the second set is the orientals third set sounds like everything I would like this is their intense blend and their fourth set is a artisanal blend so I'm really excited to try this one as well so let's open up the first set there are five perfumes in here I'm gonna try my best not to spray everything on because if I spray everything on it's gonna smell like so many different things and I'm not gonna be able to clearly smell what each of them smell like so what I like to do typically is just do a little sniff test so the first one here is Bianca and this is definitely a floral it's a little bit on the sweeter side which is not my preference typically but this does smell very like nighttime date nighty the second one is Luna and it smells definitely a little bit more fruity a little bit more fresh still on the sweet and floral side but it's definitely more daytime compared to the first one the third one is Delizia and oh my gosh, this is a very, very unique scent. I honestly have never smelled anything like it. It definitely has a bit more of that muskiness along with the floral. It still smells really fresh. I really, really like this one. Then we have Scintilla. This smells definitely more on the fresh floral side. And the last one from the floral side is Belinda. It has a really interesting spice blend. It almost smells a bit pepperminty in my opinion. Next, we have the Oriental. So let's go ahead and try them all out. The first one of the Oriental is Doreen. Wow, it smells super, super strong. I love this. This is definitely on a musky side. It also has that rosiness and warmth to it. I'm really, really digging this one. Next is Malek. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's oody and rosy. A little bit smoky as well. Next we have Sama, which kind of smells like Christmassy, warm, cinnamony. And next we have Sarai. This is definitely more on the oody side and a little bit smoky. So this, I would say, is a very unisex. This is the last of this series and this is Elma's and I'm obsessed with this one. This smells like ambery, oody, everything I love but it smells very unique and it's also very, very unisex. Next we move on to the intense blends. I'm so excited for this one. And the first one we have is Maison. Oh wow, this is super, super interesting. It has a little bit of that spicy note to it. And of course, it's definitely very oody as well. It has a little bit of citrus. I don't know why but I'm really, really drawn to this one. Next we have a robe. This one I would say smells a little bit more like something I have smelled before. I do love this too, but I feel like the first one is definitely more different. This is definitely a bit more fresh. Then we have Chagra. This one is super interesting and it has a little bit more of the sweetness to it, but it's a very, very heavy scent. Next up we have Mora and this one is definitely a little bit more fresh compared to the others in this series. And it's still a little bit spicy, but it definitely brings out more of that freshness. And the last one in this series is called Enfas. And this is also very oody. To me, it has a little bit of the powdery feel. Now moving on to the fourth set here. This is the artisanal blend one. First one we have here is called Fresco. This is a little bit on the sweeter side. It has florals to it and it also has a little bit of the ember. And the second one is called Atarsia. It smells very warm but has that vanilla scent to it as well. And it also has a bit of the coffee note which I'm picking up too. Then we have Helios. This one kind of smells a little bit fresh and spicy at the same time. This to me it smells a little bit more manly in my opinion. Then we have Passion. This smells like a combination of oud, woodiness, and also has a touch of cinnamon. And the last one is called Bassetto. This one smells just a little bit spicy. I would say this smells also a little bit more manly to me. And it also has a little bit of the woodiness as well. Honestly, these scents have really, really impressed me. They're very strong, very intense, which I personally like. There are a couple that were a little bit on the lighter side. So if you guys like something that's lighter, you can still look at these scents. But if you guys love intense scents, I would say 75% of this series or 80% it's on the stronger and more intense side, which you guys know is up my alley. Okay, I literally went and smelled everything again because I had to pick my favorites and it's so difficult. But I think my top three are these. I really, really like Mazioon and that one is like just 
perfect. This for me can go day to night. It's definitely more of a heavier night scent, but I would totally wear this in the day too. And I really love Malak too. Malak is a little bit more on the rosy side, which is really, really nice. It's a bit more feminine, which I love, but I almost feel like Malak mixed with Elmas is really, really unique. So I'm kind of like loving these two together. Elmas is definitely a very, very unique scent. I've never smelled anything like that. On my skin, it smells almost like a little bit suede, which I love. But yeah, I think these three are my top three favorites and that's the end of my video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed trying out these perfumes with me let me know which one sounds most up your alley and if you guys are more of an intense scent or more of a lighter fragrance type of person again if you guys are like unique scents make sure to check out maison the orient they carry lots of other different brands as well but they're all very unique so i hope you guys enjoyed this video found this helpful and if you guys have any questions make sure to drop a comment down below if you've watched all the way up to here and not subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i'll talk to you guys in my next one hope you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye